Okay, for our second topic for the motion analysis, our second example will be the four bar linkage. So we will be applying this exercise. So to get the torque that we could get by applying a load to the rocker arm. Okay. So first is we need to model this crank link that will rotate about 360 degree rotation. So our material will be alloy steel for all the parts. So the frame link will be rigid while the other linkages will rotate at a 360 degree rotation. So the objective of this is we will be able to get the torque by adding a force with a constant speed as part of our exercise. Okay, so first you have to model these four parts which is the frame, the rocker, the crank, and the connector. So these are all IPS inches and we will have the thickness of about 0.25 so you just model the frame and you will alter just the dimensioning and you will be able to finish it very quick so once you have the model so let's do the assembly so when you do the assembly make sure that we have assembled it as shown so First is the frame, and then the crank and rocker and the connector is the last. Okay, so let's go to the model, motion analysis. I will open the frame. Okay. Then make an assembly from part. Is the frame and then insert browse what will be the second model for that one? So we are not able to see the part, so I will just drag this part. So connector, crank, and the rocker arm. Alright, so as shown, so the crank is on the left side, rocker, and the connector. So first is I will make this meeting as concentric. Okay, then coincident. Then the other one, so one trick is, then when you have that, okay, so let's go to the PDF again, so it will be in front, so concentric. This one is also concentric, but this assembly is in front. Okay, so once we have that, let's go to the front and click save. So crank assay. So we'll be able to move the crank. As you can see. You can rotate it 360 degrees. Okay, so there's a note that we will arrange this to ensure that we will be starting at the same point we will add a perpendicular meet as shown. So Mate. Oops, then select perpendicular mate. 
this will be just used for positional since we cannot already rotate the member so once we have that position so press then don't move the part okay so as you can see we we could have deleted the mid but if you need to rely you can simply un unsuppress the mid rather than recreating it okay so let's make the view the view that you want then click the motion study all right go for the motion analysis so what's next is setup so first is set the type of analysis the motion analysis so select the motor icon in the property manager set the velocity at 60 revolutions per minute so look for the motor so solitary motor click the face constant speed up to 60 revolutions per minute so let's do a trial oops so fast all right so what is the one that we should do is about set it to one second since we set the motor at 60 rpm one second simulation will include one full revolution so let's check this one so i have to, to lessen the work then zoom in so i have set it to one second oops then we have one full rotation okay second is to change the frames per second from 25 to 100 to make it detailed so 100 as you will notice we will have a difference in the movements a smoother uh, animation will be seen then let's go to the results and plots so select the type of result displacement with acceleration to trace spot so using the trace spot you will be able to get a 2d sketch of a hum so let's go to the result plot angular acceleration category trace spot let's select this one So we have an error. So what should I select as the edge? Alright. As you can see, there's a cam being shown. So playback loop. Alright, so as you can see, there's a pattern being shown wherein this pattern could be downloaded by going to the trace spot export the csv file or create curve from path or create curve from path in a new part so if i select that one oops where is the model so I just zoom in you have the curve sketch select front plane then go to convert select this one convert entities extrude and you have your 3d model of the cam as shown in the trace spot all right Let's go to the motion study again. So there's a different forward linkage can be signed view to produce variety of motions using the four bar linkage. So now we will add force to the connector. 
the force will be applied at the center of the hole. So, what's the force that will be applied is about 20 pound force. So, let's see. Select this one. So can you notice the connector is pointing at the Z axis? We have to make it point downward. So we will select a plane that will direct this one. So it's now pointing downward, upward. So we have to make it point uh, downward. So by selecting this button, we will reverse the direction. Then we should indicate the pound force requirement so check so we have put 20 pound force so run calculate okay so we have put the simulation but we need to make it a qualitative analysis and a quantitative analysis so what parameter that we need to find is select for the forces and applied torque in the z component so select force torque and z because we are in the z axis so I have to select the motor but one technique is you select the motor go to the result plot notice that it's already pre-selected go to the forces motor torque Z component okay so can see we already have the plot the result plot so the peak uh, torque is about 51 pound force inch at happening at 0.4 second so if I stop this I scroll this one this is the peak torque so if you will look for a motor that will drive this 20 pound force load so the expected torque will be about 51 pound force inch so select a higher specs of a motor in order to make this connector rotate or this four bar linkage okay so actually you could download the, the file using export csv so could download this spreadsheet export spreadsheet okay then you'll be able to see the value at time zero we see that the motor torque is negative 29 so notice that the value of negative is just to show a direction so it doesn't mean that the value is a true negative just a directional uh, value okay now we should try what if we put gravity so let's try adding gravity so this is the gravity so we put gravity notice the arrow here should be pointing downward on your model the arrow okay so once you were able to specify that on y axis pointing downward let's calculate so what will be the expected value so it's gradually in just increase about by another one point to two pound for sure why is that so because gravity had very little effect on the calculation so now we will uh, the torque 
flat is almost unchanged with the peak torque increase by only one poundage so the gravity does not affect the torque value that we are able to get so now we will increase the velocity of the motor to see if the effect on the torque so let's change the time from one second to point one so let's zoom in actually we since we have technique s let's go to the diamond bar edit key let's zoom in the playback speed of frame will result in poor performance so so we have to change actually the speed at 600 rpm so that's one recommendations since we will not be able to simulate it because the time is about 0.1 second so edit So do we have to change the frame rate? So we have to change the frame rate as well to 1000 frames per second. So be careful that their PC may lag using this one. Alright. So by applying this, the torque was increased to 186 pound per inch. As you will notice about 0.65 seconds okay. so do we have the same value almost so the peak torque increased from 51 to 180 demonstrating that the speed is increased the acceleration the members are the critical factors affecting the torque so we can verify this conclusion further by suppressing both gravity and the applied 20 pound force repeating the simulation. The peak torque is decreased from 180 to 151 even with no external load applied. So let's remove the gravity. So suppress and calculate. So what will happen to the value? still 183 no effect and let's remove the load let's remove the load press again so the value will be about 154 or 150 150 pound per inch so meaning there's a big effect if there's a load so applying this make it calculate make animation so with this the results apply to only a single point in time this is a major advantage of using a simulation program such as SOLIDWORKS motion since it's not evident at what point in the motion that the forces are maximized our analysis evaluates that the forces over the complete range of the mechanism's motions and allow us to identify the critical configuration because with this one we are able to see the behavior of the connector of the four bar linkage so now you could able to draw free body diagrams of the three moving members and apply three equations of motion to each so the result is nine equations that must be solved to find the nine unknown quantities so as you can see if you do hand computation now we will be able to just simulate it and we have a single and a clear answer for this one okay so that's the lecture for our four bar linkage hope you are able to appreciate this example Thank you.